So one thing you're going to do a lot of in Photoshop and that is make selections. This tutorial is not on making selections per se. I've got lots of tutorials I've done on that. On this one, we're going to do five tips on how to get nice, clean, crisp edges without those halos, without the jaggies. Let's get started with the first one. All right, so let's just make a quick selection. I'm going to grab the, ob the quick selection tool, select subject, and we'll choose cloud, which gives us a better option, and then choose select subject. I'm not trying to get a perfect selection here, just good enough to show you how to fix those edges. All right, so let's do the first one, is in select a mask. And in fact, a lot of the time you're going to go into select a mask anyway. So here we are, we're in object aware, and you can see some of the colors right there on that edge. See how we've got a dark edge there, and the hair is kind of a little weird. And we can also view this against different colors. Okay, so if I look at this on a white background where I grab that and we pull it all the way up, you'll see the dark edges. If I view this on a black one, you'll see some of the light edges. So those are what we're really focusing on in this tutorial. So this first one is just the basic tools in Photoshop. We'll get into the more exotic ones in a second. All right, so we're going to grab the hairbrush. And this is where you would go around edges. Like, see, this edge is not very good. And you want to kind of bring out, you know, kind of the fuzziness around the edges. So we can do that with this. Okay, so quite often this tool works nicely for getting these kind of softer edges, but it doesn't usually do very well on hard edges like this. See, it's not really making much difference. Okay, there's a couple of settings you can do in here. One is you want to set your radius to one. Watch what this is going to do to some of these kind of foggy areas here. When we hit that one and we apply it, it's going to start to clean those up. Another one that we can do is we can go down and choose decontaminate colors. Now, if it goes too far, just roll the amount back. So we can go in here, we can kind of start to clean this up. Now, see how these edges are still there a little bit? We can also go in a shift edge and we could do like a minus one. And these will start to just kind of get into those edges and clean them up. All right, so this one did a pretty good job of things like the hair. And let's do another selection. See this edge? We've got this edge fringing. Couple of ways to fix this. One of them is to just grab that edge there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to choose filter blur. Give it a little bit of Gaussian blur. Somewhere between two and three pixels is probably enough. Then what we want to do is we're going to hit Control L or Command L on Mac to bring up the levels. Now watch what happens when we pull in here. See how that just shrinks that edge in? Look at that. And then we can just kind of play around and shrink those edges away. Get rid of that problem. Okay, so here's our edge. Select our mask. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go under the filter other. Now, if you want to expand it, go maximum. If you want to shrink it, go minimum. And then watch what happens as we pull this minimum in. See that? So if we look at this, like three is maybe too much. One is not enough. Two is not quite there. If we change it from squareness to roundness, we can actually go in between two. So I can go to 2.6, 2.7. And I'm just focusing on this area here or down there. Look at that before see those edges after done two more to go you're going to love the last one though because i'm going to show you how to apply that selectively to just certain parts of the image all right let's go to the next one okay so tip number four this is combining techniques something people don't think of what works for hair doesn't necessarily work for skin and hard edges i'm going to show you how to make both selections and then combine them together all right, let's use this image because we're going to have a combination here of hair and a smooth edge. Okay, I'm going to use my quick selection, select subject, make sure we're in the cloud, click select subject. The cloud gives better results. All right, great. Let's go into select a mask. And what I want to do is just make sure that we include these areas in between the hair. So I'm just dragging in here very quickly. All right, let's hit decontaminate colors. 
notice how it does a pretty nice job of that but you've got to be careful of some of the edges like that so we want to pull this down a little bit and then just dial in the amount we want so what we're trying to do is just get rid of the graying on the edges without the hair you know turning into a solid color all right that's good enough let's click OK let's go in a back black background all right, so if we look at this, we've got something we want to do around the edges of the hair, but we also want to do something to smoothen the skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. Control J, we're going to make a copy of it, and I'm going to select the mask. So what I want to do is just clean out those areas there. So we're going to hit Control L for levels, and then we can grab the midtone slider and pull that over a little bit for subtlety. And also pull the black over just a little bit. And let's find a nice balance between the two. Okay, so we're going to call this one here. And let's turn the duplicate on. But what about these edges? And we get these jagginess here. So how do we fix that? Well, that's quite easy. So we're going to choose our mask. We're going to choose filter and blur it. Give it a Gaussian blur. Let's give it about three. Now we're going to hit Control L. Don't worry about the hair. All we're focusing on is these areas. We want them nice and smooth. So pull the blacks in a little bit. Pull the whites in a little bit. So now we get nice smooth edges. Click OK. And then how do we reconcile that with the hair? It's quite simple. We're going to grab the lasso tool. And let's just grab all the areas that had hair in it. All right, with that mask selected, we just need to fill that area with black to hide it. So that'd be Command Delete on Mac, Control Backspace on Windows, Control D turns off the selection. Okay, so now we've got our smooth edges here. And then all we need to do is turn on our other layer where we selected the hair. And that way we can start to combine the different techniques for the different areas that it does the best. So generally speaking, select a mask is going to do the best for the hair, but you can go into that mask and you can apply that level, which is going to just kind of clean up those edges. It'll do the similar thing to what contrast does inside and select a mask, except it gives you a little bit more control and then just blur that mask, hit those levels, and that'll smoothen off those jaggy areas on those hard surfaces that just never seem to quite get those nice, clean, smooth selections. All right, let's selectively clean up this edge. This is one of my favorite techniques when it comes to getting perfect edges when compositing. So if we look at this photograph here, let's zoom in and we're going to have a look at her, her top here. Look at that edge. We've got that little white edge there. So we want to get rid of it just there and nowhere else. So what we want to do is go to the mask, hold down the control key or the command key, and you'll see a little square, a dotted square. Click, it will load the selection. Perfect. Now what we want to do is we're going to choose select, modify, and what we want to do is we want to contract the selection by a single pixel. So put one in there. Great. We're not quite done yet. So now we're going to do one more thing. We're going to choose select and then we're going to go back to modify again. This time we're going to choose feather and we're going to feather this by a single pixel as well. Click OK. Now this is something I just stumbled upon years and years ago and it still works in the latest versions of Photoshop. All right. So what we want to do now, we've got our model select, but we want to select everything but our model. So we're going to choose select inverse. You can see the marching ants outside. So that means we've just got a one pixel edge that's going into our model, but that one pixel edge has a one pixel feather on it. So with black as our foreground color and the brush tool selected, we want to paint. But wait, we can't see what's going on because that selection's in the way. So we're going to hide it. Control H or Command H will hide that selection. Now it's still active, but it's just hidden and it enables us to see what we're doing. Now watch this. It's going to be just like magic as we paint across this. Look at this. Just magically gets rid of that exactly where I paint. Now we've got a perfectly blended edge with no fringe. 
But let me know in the comments underneath if this helped you, if you learned anything new. And by the way, if you're new to the cafe, welcome. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, you won't miss any of my videos. Do us a favor, hit that thumbs up, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.